Steel Mage. So I'm able to teach you everything there is to know about astrology. But it seems like we probably don't have that much time. We'd be here for days just talking and talking about it. So what is it that you want to know? Like, what's the reason? Why is it dating? Or is it to know more about yourself or friendships or what's it about? Okay, that's cool. Well, let me first start by telling you what exactly a celestial mage is. We pretty much collect keys, and there are gold keys, which are more rare than the silver keys. The gold keys are the actual zodiac signs, and the silver keys are ones that are also part of the group, but we make sort of contract with each one of them. The contract is able to be broken, but that's usually if someone dies. Um, and the contract is for them to help me out and be there for me when I need them in battle. Yeah, totally. Um, it, I guess it's not super complicated, but it's like, it's easier to, I guess, sort of understand it if you are one. Yeah. Well, I can teach you about the 12 zodiacs, which go along with the 12 months. And lucky for you, I have all of my keys out and ready to tell you about interesting facts of each of the signs. <laughs> so, to start off, we have the first sign of the zodiac. And that is Aries. Now, Aries is a pretty energetic. Um, Aries are sort of, I guess, spontaneous, but kind of fearless, a little bit outspoken. Um, they usually bring the energy towards them in a room. Um, and the dates for this, which dates are always subject to change, but the general dates for the Aries Zodiac sign is March 21st to April 19th. So, if that's when your birthday is, then that is your Zodiac. So, how cool. Yeah. Um, Aries gets along well with Leo. Um, and I guess she's a bit shy around me, but it's like once, you know, she gets to know people, she's super energetic and, well, literally do so well. And any battle. Yeah, so that was the first sign in the zodiac, Aries. So, the second sign is Taurus, which is the bull, meaning that those who are Dorians, they usually are known to be pretty stubborn. That's sort of the stereotype, to be a stubborn bull, you know. Um, let's see, Dorians, or Dorians, um, they, like I said, they're pretty stubborn. Um, they like stability a lot. So, if things change, you know, they're usually not a big fan of that. They're kind 
be practical. Um, they love to know what's going on, like at all times. And um, they are probably like, they might be seen as like doctors or like detectives, I guess, in the world, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, Virgos are born between August 23rd and September 22nd. So, if you are born between those times, you are most likely a Virgo. Um, so, has all of this made sense to you so far? Have you had any questions? That this is just lightly, lightly, lightly touching the topic of it. Um, I guess, you know, like I said, we'd be here for days if we really went into it and figured out, you know, everything and talked everything through. And I think the information can be sort of overwhelming at the start, especially for somebody who has like no prior knowledge of Zodiac stuff and celestial things. So, um, but yeah, since I finished six keys, does it all make sense so far? Okay. So, the next sign, the seventh sign is, let me find my Libra, here is an Libra, now I myself only have ten gold keys at the moment, um, my other friend, she has, um, plus the 13th zodiac key. So anyway, this is Libra. Now Libra is all about balance and harmony. They love peace, but they also like being in the drama. So whenever there's like something going on, they probably are in it. So a Libra, um, their sign is a scale because again balance everything is all about balance in a libra's world like it is crazy um but yeah they are also pretty indecisive that's why they kind of sit on this like balance beam of like oh do i go this way or do i go that way um if, if you are born between september 23rd and October 22nd, you are a Libra, so you probably know what it's like to be indecisive and care about balance and harmony in the world and all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. The next sign is another sign that is not loved by the Zodiac world. Um, but that's not my opinion. It's just other opinions. And that sign is Scorpio. The Scorpion. Um, people really have negative views on Scorpios. Um, they kind of say that they're too intense and they always like to be right. Um, but also they can be competitive, which can be a good thing. Um, or they can be too competitive. <laughs> um, but again, being a Scorpio is not a bad thing. You know, we all embrace our zodiac signs. So, um, yeah, if you were born between October 23rd to November 21st, you are probably a Scorpio. Okay, now on to the next key. We have Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius um, signs are known to be adventurous, outgoing, kind of the life of the party, like the really fun person. Um, you probably know a Sagittarius in your life because you probably hang out with them. Like every friend group has a Sagittarius. 
course. So, um, but yeah, they're really, um, outspoken and they know how to get a party going and they're super lively, like, all the time. So, that's always fun. <laughs> if you were born between November 22nd and December 21st, you are most likely a Sagittarius. So, that's fun. <laughs> Then you are the life of the party. If you don't know one in a group, then you are probably the Sagittarius. The tenth sign is Capricorn. Now, the Capricorns are known to be super traditional and love to be family oriented. So they care about their family a lot. They're super big on family activities. Um, they're also big in like leadership roles and just kind of helping others out and being there for people when they need it. So if you were born December 22nd or January 19th, you are a Capricorn. The second to last zodiac sign is none other than Aquarius. Now, Aquarius has a special place in my heart because this is actually my first celestial spirit. So, pretty cool. Um, I've had her since I was a kid. Aquarius are known to be pretty rebellious and they love to stick by their word and what they want. Um, they are super big about being passionate and, um, they care about their freedom. So, um, Aquarius was a sign of the water bearer, and if you were born between January 20th and February 18th, you are an Aquarius sign. Pisces. Now, Pisces is a sign that can be pretty compassionate, but also a little bit emotional too. Pisces are more so passionate on the inside and hold a lot of things in because they love to just kind of take care of themselves on their own. Um, they are super imaginative and always like want closure and to be helpful towards other people. So they care a lot about finding like the, I guess, good outcome of something. But, yeah, if you were born between February 19th and March 20th, you are the sign of Pisces in the Zodiac. So, now that I've gone over all the keys, are there any that you have questions over? questions over the last four keys. No. Okay. Do you have any questions over the six, five, six, seven, and eight keys? used to being around my belt loop that they don't know what it's like to be free. <laughs> 